Buzzy. Buzzy? Then it was you. That name has been coming into my mind since last night. Well, certainly. That's because I've been trying to contact you. It was around midnight when they bumped me off. They threw me right off that bridge. That's why I felt irresistibly drawn to this spot. Thales of Miletus Paradox. What? The control of spiritual magnetic forces over the material. Thales was right. He had the answer. Well, pay him the $64. I don't know from Thales. All I know is I got you here to help me fry that rat, Ten Grand Jackson. We got to put him in the chair, Edmund. To avenge my own brother, I'd go to any extreme. That's the spirit. Now, look. Here's what I want you to do. Now, nobody knows they killed me, see? So you've got to take my place. <clears throat> Shh. Shh. Don't worry. They don't even know I'm alive. I, I, I mean dead. It's a hip chick. Look, all you have to do is to be me day and night until the trial is over. But there's ten grand. If he killed you to prevent you from testifying, and he thinks I'm you, he'll most certainly kill you. I, I mean me, because I'll be you. Oh, dear. Not scared, are you? Fear is not in the dingle lexicon, Buster. And what are you worried about? Well, if I took your place, I'd be dead in an hour. <laughs> Edwin, I can handle everything, even though I'm only a beginner at this racket. No telling what I can do once I learn the ropes. Didn't I bring you here when you wanted potato salad? Potato salad! Potato salad! I have to go. Stop, Eddie! Let's get out of here. Eh, yeah, Brooklyn's full of them. <laughs> this is amazing. An actual demonstration of Thales' power of magnetic compulsion. Kid stuff. Well, what I don't understand is... <gasps> Buster! What's hitting me for? I didn't do nothing. Dames, I'll be in a car if you want to ride home. Have you read any good books lately, babe? Don't be vulgar. Vulgar? Didn't you ever see a girl powder her nose before? I'm sorry, miss. I wasn't talking to you. Please. Oh, what a setup when I think of all the time I wasted living. Please be serious. Did you say you sing and dance in a nightclub? No, I work in a bakery. But a lot of people take me for Lana Turner. Oh, you could fool me, honey. Please stop that. How am I going to take your place? What, in the bakery? No, in the nightclub. But I don't work in a nightclub. But I do. I know you do. Are you trying to tell me where I work? Will you please stay out of this conversation? Well, you talk to me first, you masher. Oh, no. Listen, you started all this. You made me come here in the middle of the night, and now you want to have fun with me. Fun? I do not. What's the matter? This guy's getting fresh with me. That's for trouble, bud. Yes, for trouble, bud. On the contrary, I'm attempting to avoid it. On the contrary, I'm attempting to avoid it. You see, I couldn't carry on this deception for today. Why don't you believe me, Mike? I didn't deceive nobody. A likely story. Stop it. Now, let's settle this alone. Come up to my room like you used to. What? Take your glasses off. Huh? <clears throat> You see, honey, it's, it's just, just like, like I told you. You, you can't, can't trust, trust nobody these days. days. Except for sailors. Come on. Oh. I have a vague feeling this is not going to work out, Buster. You're all right, Edwin. You're just dizzy from the punch, that's all. I'll take care of you if you're getting in any real trouble. Why, in my new setup, all I probably have to do is go make people disappear, stop bullets, and all kinds of stuff. Now, stop moving, kid. you got to get down to the Pelican Club and take my place. Why, Buster, you can see it's futile. I, I, I couldn't appear at the Pelican Club. I have the slightest knowledge of how to execute a song or a dance. Don't worry. I've got a gimmick. I'm going to use it at the club in a ten grand's trial, too. What's the gimmick? It's a cinch. Whenever you need me for anything like that, you'll hear the music. I'll step inside you and use your voice. 